Hello, Mike here. Now, I was having a cup of tea with a friend of mine, and we were talking about technology projects that we were working on, and I mentioned Jupyter Notebooks. And they said that they didn't know what Jupyter Notebooks were, and that completely changed the direction of the conversation. And so that's what I want to do with you right now, because I write Python scripts. So if you write Python scripts, R or Go, um, then you'll end up with an entire directory of scripts that you use once in a blue moon to do various automation tasks, to process data. And whilst you don't use them very often, when you use them, you want them to work. And you need to try and remember how they're supposed to work. Jupyter Notebooks are perfect for that. A Jupyter Notebook looks like a document or a wiki page where you can write text, rich text, with headings and with diagrams and with images and with tables. But then inside of it, you can actually have cells of code. And it's not like just formatted so it looks pretty you can actually run the code. So when you open up the document, in the background you have a running kernel, a running memory space, and you can execute individual cells of code. And after you execute this, it'll remain in memory and be available for other cells that you execute later on. So as an example, right at the very top of your notebook, you might decide to have a section where you include all the libraries that you need for the rest of the code. Then you might have a cell which declares a function, but doesn't actually do anything at that point in time, but it just declares the function. And then underneath that, you might use the function for something. Interspaced between all of these cells, you can have paragraphs of text explaining why you're doing it. So it's like you can comment your code. You can really explain what the code does and take this iterative approach to running the code. So this is used a lot by uh, data scientists being able to manipulate and munge around with data. It's used a lot by machine learning engineers being able to manipulate and munge around with data and then also create machine learning models. But it can be used for anything, for sharing code amongst other people, but for sharing code with your future self. There's loads of other benefits to having the code running on a Jupyter Notebook server as well. The code is actually running outside of your local machine. So if you break things in a really bad way, you don't break your local machine. And they're really easy to set up. You can actually set them up running locally. You can set them up in Docker. You can set them up on AWS. Inside of SageMaker, there are SageMaker Notebooks. They are essentially a managed uh, Jupyter Notebook instance uh, running for you. And I've got one of those, and I process subtitles for videos um, and create animations for courses that I'm putting together. And of course, I use them extensively inside of the machine learning course. I wanted to bring to your attention the idea and the possibility of Jupyter Notebook servers and Jupyter Notebooks that you can use for other things other than machine learning and data science. Anyway, thank you for watching this short video about Jupyter Notebooks. If you've got any questions at all, ask me, and I shall see you in the next video.